Maiden is great at marketing. They have a nicely designed website, partnerships with pro chefs, and a brand built around expert craftsmanship. But is the cookware any good? I've been putting it to the test for over three years, and in this video, I reveal what I like and what I don't like about it. Maiden makes several types of cookware, but in this video, I'm focusing on their original and their highly popular stainless steel line. Without further ado, let's get right into it. First and foremost, Maiden stainless steel performs as well or better than any other cookware I've tested. That includes much more expensive brands like Allclad and Demeyer. It heats fast and evenly, and once it's hot, it maintains a consistent temperature. As I mentioned, I've been using it for several years, so I've cooked a ton of different dishes in it. Thanks to its three millimeter thick five ply construction, it does a fantastic job searing, browning, and frying, and it can handle up to 800 degrees in the oven. Based on my real world testing, Maiden lives up to the hype, but to see how exactly its heat conduction compares to the competition, I performed a quick test. I poured two cups of cold water into a 12 inch fry pan and set the heat to high. As the water heated up, tiny bubbles were uniform across the entire cooking surface, which indicates even heat distribution. When pans are warped or the bottom doesn't sit flat on the cooktop, there will be hot and cold spots, and the bubbles will show that. At exactly 2 minutes and 21 seconds, the water came to a full boil. I've run this test with 20 other brands and Maiden was the second fastest to boil the water, which is a good thing but surprising considering the pan is relatively thick. Another important factor to consider is heat retention. You want pans that stay hot as you add ingredients. Fortunately, Maiden passes this test too. After the water boiled, I set the pans on the counter and measured the water temperature after 5 and 10 minutes. As you can see in the chart, Maiden had the highest water temperature after 10 minutes. These tests are not flawless, but they show that Maiden performs as good or better than some of the biggest names in the industry. Besides performance, Maiden cookware has four design features that I really like. Number one is the handle design. It's flat on the top and bottom, so you have plenty of control when tilting, but it's rounded and smooth on the sides, so it's comfortable to hold. Number two, the lid handle and helper handles are large. You can fit your entire hand around them for a firm grip. For comparison, I can barely fit three fingers in an all-clad lid handle. The third feature is its brushed exterior. While I appreciate a shiny, polished finish, I really like the matte look of made-in pans. They do a great job hiding fingerprints and smudges, and it's a more modern look in my opinion. The last feature I'll highlight is the large cooking surface. The diameter of the 12 inch fry pan's cooking surface is 9.5 inches. Most 12 inch pans are closer to 9 inches, so you get a little more flat space to cook. The final pro I want to mention before I talk about the cons is the price. Maiden is not cheap, but it's significantly less expensive than brands like Allclad, Demeyer, and Heston. Maiden keeps prices low by cutting out the middlemen. Instead of selling through retailers, Maiden sells direct to consumers on their website and through their Amazon store. Overall, I love the design of Maiden pans, but I have one minor complaint. The sidewalls of the frying pans have too shallow of a slope. This design, plus the flared rims, makes it easy to slide food onto a plate, but it also makes it easier to spill and splatter. I realize I might be nitpicking here, but it's worth noting if you're someone who obsesses over a clean kitchen. The rivets on the Maiden pan I got years ago jet out further than most brands. It's hard to clean around the rivets, so oil and food bits would often bake into the pan. Fortunately, Maiden made some updates and the rivets on the pans made today are much flatter. Still, they don't offer flush rivets or rivetless options like several other brands. If you're looking for lightweight pans, you'll be disappointed. Maiden pans are built solid with thick, heavy walls. The 12 inch fry pan weighs over three pounds. I mentioned that I like the handle design, but I need to call out the handle angle. Maiden handles are almost even with the top of the pan. You can fit the pan in the oven with less space between racks, but since the handle isn't angled upward like most, your hand is a little bit closer to the heat. Also, there's a small space where the handle bends that's extremely difficult to clean unless you scrub it with a toothbrush. Made In recently opened a branded shop in Austin, Texas near its headquarters, but it's not available in any other retail stores, so you can't pick it up and look at it in person before you buy it. Fortunately, they offer a generous 45-day return policy, so if you get it in the mail and you don't like it, you can return it. So is made-in cookware worth buying? In my opinion, yes. It's exactly what you want in stainless steel cookware. 
It heats up fast and evenly, retains heat well, has large comfortable handles, an attractive brushed exterior, and it's built to last. But the best part about Made In is that the prices are fair. It's not the most affordable brand, but for quality, fully clad stainless steel cookware that's made in the United States and Italy, it's an excellent value. If you're ready to buy or just want to learn more, I'll link to websites that sell Made In in the description of this video. Those are affiliate links, so I'll earn a commission if you click and buy, but at no extra cost to you. I'll also link to the free Prudent Reviews newsletter. When you sign up, you'll get emails when top rated brands like Made In and All Clad go on sale. If you found this video helpful, Check out this video where I highlight the best cookware made in the USA. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.